what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tiki and for today's video we are going to go over how you can lose weight with absolutely no effort or minimal 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 to no effort you're going to use these three tips you've been trying to lose weight you're, you you know you don't have that much weight to lose even if you could lose 10 pounds 15 pounds you'd be good to go right but you're like i'm not trying to be a gym rat nothing about that sounds pleasant to me Nothing about being surrounded by a bunch of sweaty people, smelling all their body odor, and touching all the stuff that their sweaty hands have been touching sounds appealing to me. And I completely understand because I am a gym rat and it's kind of gross. But there is actually a way for you to achieve your goals without wearing yourself out and it's probably the best place to start for beginners. You're not going to start working out, you're going to start taking walks. So you don't really have to start with with a, with a time goal, I say at least 10 to 15 minutes, right? And so it's, I think, I, I believe the general recommendation is that you're active for 30 minutes out of the day. If you don't have 30 minutes, instead, just do 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there. That 20, something is better than enough. So you're gonna start off just taking more walks. If you are like, well, I don't even have 10 minutes, that's fine because what you can do is you can take a five minute walk, right? Around your complex, around your neighborhood. What helps is just being more cognizant of taking walks. So you have breakfast, take another two to five minute walk. So now you've walked a total of seven minutes. That is seven minutes closer to 30 minutes than you had before. Now, instead of parking, you know, as close as you can get to the store or to the or to wherever else you go park a little bit further don't do this at night if you're a girl because safety first but yeah try parking a little bit further right now you get an extra minute 30 to two minutes right what you're doing is you're finding ways to simply expend more energy and ultimately when it comes to weight loss it's all about calories it's all about creating a caloric deficit so if you find more ways to simply be more active guess what you're going to create a caloric deficit over time and you have to do all three of these tips like simultaneously but there's but there are three super simple tips. You can you can park further from the mall. You can take a walk for five minutes in the morning. If you're someone and you're like, look, I actually have really chill, slow morning. I can do a 30 minute walk. Girl, do it, okay? Put your headphones in, put on some music, and just walk. Because I'm telling you, once you start walking, you're gonna get addicted to it because it's so easy. You're just breathing in all the fresh air. You are just out there with the birds and they're just chirping, you know? It's just such a beautiful, I love I love taking walks so much. But you can't actually lose weight from just taking walks. So here's a little short story. In 20, in 2006? Yeah, in 2006, my mom and I went to Washington DC, right? And so we went from Florida where we drive everywhere or, or, or where she was driving everywhere to being in Washington DC where you can where it's a very walkable city. So we were walking from our hotel, we we're walking to little events here and there, you know, doing all this walking. When we came back, girl, when we came back, everybody was like, what have y'all been doing? Like you look so good. And it was just walking. The second tip is going to be preparing your meals at home. So instead of you going out and buying the burger that you enjoy, instead of you going out and buying the chicken that you like, what you're going to do is you're going to prepare it at your house. It'll be better for you because one, you're cognizant of what you're using, of what you're putting in your food. You don't have somebody else, you know, who you don't know if they wash their hands. You don't know if they're coughing in your food. Just cook your food at home. It's so much, it's so much better than going to restaurants. And this is coming from someone that has worked at more than enough restaurants to know they don't give a damn about cleanliness of in a restaurant, okay? Sorry, I hate to break it to you, but they don't care. All right, so a lot of people can attest to the fact that when they started cooking at home, they just lost weight. They didn't go from eating burgers and fries out to eating salads and chicken at home. They went from eating burgers and fries out to eating homemade burgers and fries and they still lost weight. So that speaks volumes about what they're putting in your food. They just use a lot more oil. They put a lot more salt there. You know, when you're, think about it like this, at a restaurant, the food has to taste has to taste good when it comes out because you're spending so much money, right? You're spending on what on one meal what you could what you could buy for like a week. So they don't have that wiggle room for food to be okay. Like the food has to be on point. So because of that, they put a lot more sugar in it. They add a lot of unnecessary oils and salt and sugar, you know, just so that it tastes so good when it comes out. 
So instead, cook at home. And lastly is going to be to write down what you eat. Keep a food journal, okay? This is one of the things that you can do so that you're not counting calories, but so that you're still able to create a caloric deficit. In your food journal, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put how much you're eating and what you're eating. So let's say, you, you can eyeball it. Let's say you think that you have a cup of yogurt. You have a cup of yogurt with, you know, a cup of blueberries and a cup of granola, right? And then you can just see how much you're eating throughout the day. This helps create some mindfulness in your eating habits. For a lot of people, especially like when I was younger and I was extremely, extremely overweight, right? I used to eat mindlessly. I would eat so much, I would be eating as soon as I finished a meal, like I had absolutely no thoughtfulness in regards to how much and how often I was putting food into my body. And because of that, I was extremely overweight. So what you want to do is you want to cultivate a sense of mindfulness in regards to what you eat, right? So these three tips, if you follow these three tips, you certainly will lose weight. All right, and they're not hard. I'm not saying go to the gym and work out for two hours. I'm not saying count every calorie that enters your body. I'm not saying do any of that. I'm saying you eat the same way, you just cook at home. I'm saying you eat, but you write down what you eat instead, and that you take a couple of walks here and there, okay? If you do these things consistently, I can guarantee you, you'll see results. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.